Today we're going to do a quick review of the Nature's Head self-contained composting toilet. And if you've seen our other videos, you know Harry here has one in his cabin and he actually has another one in New Hampshire now in his other cabin. Correct. So, um, like what do you think of it so far, Harry? I love it. Um, interesting story. I got this, this one here um, and I bought a second one to put up in my off-grid cabin in New Hampshire. It's the, the one down here we have it continuously vented to the outdoors and we said well you know it's a great toilet it never smells or anything and um, easy it's it's more work of course than than uh, crapping into your drinking water and flushing it down the drain um, but it's way more ecologically friendly and way better than putting in a twenty thousand dollar septic system mm. Um, and the, the one of the big reasons I like it is it looks like a toilet. You can actually kind of do this yourself with, you know, a build it at home composting toilet, but then it doesn't look like a toilet and people are like, oh, what is that thing? It's not a toilet. Uh. It's like, um, but this is easy. You drop it on the floor, you, you... Right out of the box? Right out of the box. Drop it right on the floor. In fact, the one in New Hampshire, we wanted to get it up and running because um, my wife doesn't really like the outhouse. Um, can't I think the outhouse is pretty cool. It's, it's a, nice. It's a nice outhouse. It's, yeah. it's less nice when it's 10 below zero, <laughs> but it is pretty nice in the summer. And... Um, up in New Hampshire, but she didn't want to use the outhouse, so I'm like, alright, so I bought one of these, took it out of the box, threw it on the threw some peat moss in it and threw it on the floor and said, well, we'll get around to venting that. Well, surprise, surprise. We never did get around to venting it and it still doesn't smell. Just... Even when you're up there all the time? Like, we, were, we, we used it all summer long. That's never, true. never emptied it and it never smelled. Um, it's like, oh, okay. Now, I don't know if it's because it's in New Hampshire where it's not, Chilly. you know, 150 degrees all the time and 190% humidity, uh, or if it's just because um, that's the way it is. Um, it's interesting. Neat, though. It is. It is. I, so, so this is the reasons I like them, because they're easy. They're, they're not cheap, but they're easy. You plop them on the floor. They look like toilets, so the only thing you got to educate your guests about is um, flipping the little lever flipping the little lever down to use to go number two. Um, otherwise, they separate number one and number two. Uh, but if you're going to do further composting out in your compost pile, you're just going to take your number one and dump it into the middle of the compost anyway. But it keeps the smell in the house down. That's that's the beauty of the separating. Mm. Um, and well, We it, learned that at the wedding. We had set up a bucket system and everything went into this bucket. Right, and I had to I had to dump it pretty much every night. Yeah, and so you're talking only twelve hours of it sitting. Yeah, and it smelled. Right after twelve hours, that urine getting in there does something. It's hot. It's not yeah, good. it is. The the urine is what smells. Believe yeah. it. Strangely enough, it's the urine that smells. Yeah. You throw you 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 know you um, defecate if we, into the peat moss, stir it up with the little spider handle a couple times, and nothing comes out of that. And I thought it was, like I said, I thought it was because this one's vented continuously with the fan out to the outdoors, the one in New Hampshire. No fan hooked up, sitting right in the middle of the room. Nothing. So so is that the main issue? When you hook it up, is the ventilation like the main part of the installation that takes any kind of skill? Is that why you're mentioning that? Like Yeah, yeah. Other than that, you could just put it on the floor and... That's what I did. It. It's, it's still it's, <laughs> it's the one in New Hampshire is still just sitting on the floor. We just plopped it, dropped it on the floor, and um, and it's just sitting. Started there. using it. Started using it. I mean, it's a little trickier to um, get the pee bucket out because it wants to move around, skate around on the floor. But whereas this one's bolted down, but it, it's only bolted down with thumb screws. You know, you can take it out to empty it. So, but I also read the Hugh Manure Handbook. Um, this guy, and I should know his name, but I don't, but it's the author. Yeah. Stephanos. Uh, I'd have to look it up, but he's, not he's, Joel. Uh, no, Salatin. not, not Joel. No. no, it's, um, he, he's pretty much the only guy that's written a comprehensive book on how to compose human manure. And I was a little skeptical at first, but you know, I'm 70% of the way through the book and I'm like, okay. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. The guy knows his shit. Um, and um, 
So I started my own little composting pile out here and uh, everything he says so far is true. I've, I had been taking my, my um, compost out of my toilet when it got full and just burying it, but according to uh, the author, this is n not as good as composting it, where compost actually reduces the chances of any kind of transmissible disease almost within days because it goes thermophilic and meaning it gets hot and the bacteria break down everything known to man. So I started my own little compost pile out here and now I dump it in that and then you cover it with organic material. Um, in this case I use leftover hay from when you muck out the uh, the goats. You know, the, you give the goats a hay bed and then after a day or two days or however many days you clean that hay out and give them new hay. Well I take the old hay and I add it to my compost pile. And here we are at the um, off-the-grid bathroom. Yeah, it's a nice one, too. And this is the Nature's Head composting toilet. Notice that it's um, it looks kind of like a toilet, not too bad. You know, we got you we got you up for number one, down for number two lever, down for number two, up for number one. We have your spider handle so you can stir up the contents. You know, I usually give it like six pushes here. Oh, every day. Yep, well, every time I use it, just oh. to mix up the, or, there's the organic matter in here. It's like either peat moss, I use coconut, um, coconut fiber down here. Coconut fiber is sustainable, peat moss is mine, blah, blah, blah. Um, peat moss actually is easier to come by and works pretty good. And then I got the vent tube over here that vents out to the floor. And it's run by a little fan. Did the fan come with it? The fan did come with it, the tube came with it, the electrical cord came with it, and I have it connected directly to a 12 volt battery. Okay. And so what else, what other options or features does this have? Well, the feature is that it separates one and two. Num number two goes into the hopper where you can stir it up with the peat moss. Number two goes into the bucket, but you want the bucket out, flip the little levers down, tilt this back, lift the bucket out and then you can dump your pea bucket but you want to dump it in your compost pile because you need the nitrogen in your compost pile. So that's the urine on the front would be stored in this and how does it get there? It, it, you get a little tube in there. Oh it goes right down these two little holes. You really want to get into it? Yeah. I mean, um, so that little front section. Go, the urine goes in there which if you're a girl is easy. If you're a guy you got to aim. Kind of um, point right and, down. And this is your little number two handle. You know we don't want to well, you open it before you use it. Oh, you better, yeah. Yeah, otherwise. You have a real mess. <laughs> well, I've noticed, I've heard people say before, if you put down toilet paper, but I guess it doesn't matter. This is not one of those flushing ones. There's no water involved. No correct? water. Nope. So you better open the door. You got to open the door. The, yeah. um, you, you moisten your peat moss or your coconut, um, make it damp before you put it in there, mm -hmm. but otherwise you don't add water to it at all. There's and enough water coming out of whatever. I take the urine out and dump it in the compost pile because you need the nitrogen to help keep the thermophilic bacteria happy. Okay and um, um, once you dump it do you have to clean it at all? I don't. Like the number two? What's it like when you go to dump it? Is it still like kind of sticky or is it dry like dirt? Like what's it like when you go to dump it? it it's not that bad. No. And you don't have to clean it. You just literally dump it into your compost cover it with some fresh organic matter like hey mm -hmm. here let's go look at the compost pile. okay um this this the compost thing applies if you're in a fixed location if you're a camper or if you're a boat or something well then you're going to have to bag it up and throw it in the trash but that's legal um so we walk out here past the equipment shed and we have our new little compost Chicken Pile wire? Up. No. Um, Some fence, kind of fencing. Fencing wire staked into the ground. Um, you want air to be able to get to it. Um, and um, you start with, you know, 18 inches of some kind of nice organic matter like grass clippings or wet leaves or something. A foot and a half deep. But see, it's already compressed down to like a foot. Hmm. It's already, um, it's already composting. But see, you know, it's like, you don't smell anything coming off there. No, There's no smell. 
and this is um, this is the beauty of the composting system. So if you're in a fixed location, this is what you want to do. So if I had to empty the toilet, the number two part of the toilet, I would take my little stick and I would just hollow out a little space in the middle. I would dump it in there, you know, make sure, you know, 90% of it's out into the middle of the pile. Then I'd take some used hay. Remember, this has already been used for the goats, for goat bedding. We're going to take some um, used hay and throw another layer on top of the, um, the, the hue manure that we just dumped in there. And that acts like a biofilter. And the biofilter will filter smells out so you won't smell it outdoors. Um, and the animals won't go in it because they won't smell it. It's, um, it's a brilliant system. And if we had a, what they call a compost thermometer, and we stuck it in here, we'd find that the temperature down there was pretty hot. Um, 120 degrees, 130 degrees, and that's what's going to kill any kind of residual bacteria, and it's going to kill them fast. So, but nevertheless, what we'll do is we'll fill this for a year, or maybe since we're only here part-time, we'll, maybe it'll be a couple of years, and then we'll start another one, and then let this one rest for a year. So then, so then, two years after we started it and one year after we stopped using it this will be really nice compost but we want that we want to pour the pea in here to get the nitrogen in here because the nitrogen is essential to the composting process you can, you can compost things without the nitrogen like everybody has their little backyard compost pile but without the nitrogen um, it's going to take longer and you're going to get a slightly different product what about if you were living in a van? Do you think that would be good in some kind of mobile vehicle? Yeah, in fact, they sell a lot of these things to people with boats because... Oh, yeah, you had mentioned that. Because Where it's becoming increasingly difficult to, to use. So, in the old days, the head um, just <laughs> dumped right into the ocean. But first in, in harbors and in slips and places where boats stay for long periods of time, they outlawed it there. But in a lot of places, you're just really not supposed to crap into the ocean. So now more and more people are using um, contained, self-contained systems, but this one's easy to use because you mix it with the peat moss or something. Yeah, sawdust works as well if you have a source. And then you bag it up into plastic bags and throw it away. Um, did you ever have any problems with this thing? No. No problems? No, it's a it's a molded plastic thing. It's um seems pretty heavy duty to me. Yeah. Um I've had it for a year and a half I've now. Yeah, this one for a year and a half. I've had the one up in New Hampshire since the spring. I haven't had any trouble with either of them. I haven't even powered up the fan in the other one. Right. Oh. <laughs> this fan has been running continuously, 24-7, yeah. for a year and a half, and has not failed. Very nice. So, so five stars for the nature's head. Five Everything? stars. It's a good product. It's yeah. a product you may or may not need. I Like I said, the advantage is it looks like a toilet. It's yeah, easy it's nice. to train people to use it. Um, cool. So. I knows your shit. <laughs>